Hello and welcome back to Snow State at Portsmouth, your local Cooper dealership. So yesterday you would have seen that we had the new Cooper delivered to us, all still in its wrappings. Our valeters have done their job, they've taken everything off, they've given it a lovely clean and it looks absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through some of the key features with the car and some bits and pieces that have been changed and some new features that the car has. So we're going to start off with the badge. So what you have is the new Ateca logo and badge featuring the copper fascia with the carbon fiber background. So you have the new Ateca LED lights, which are full LED front and rear on the Ateca Cupra. So as you can see here, we've got a honeycomb gloss black grille. Now, one of the main changes to this particular model is that they got the light off sections throughout this larger part of the grille, which you can just see here. You've got some slots here and you've got these blanked out parts. This is actually to um, help and improve airflow. And you'll notice you haven't got LED um, fog lights here either. And that again is just to increase um, aerodynamics and you've got these lower pockets, which the airflow will direct into. An exterior feature on the car as well, it has a top view camera which incorporates the camera on the front here on both wing mirrors and on the rear of the car as well. Now another feature to the car, you've got a new detailing parts, so you've got the Cupra across the back, um, the front bumper there which is lower to the ground. So another fantastic feature and improvement in my opinion is of course the alloy wheels. The coloration is just absolutely beautiful and they really offset the car perfectly. So you've got that copper colour coming through on the fascia then you've got the black inner to the alloy wheel. In the alloy wheel we have a cross drilled 18 inch brake disc here which you then also have to assist it you have a quad pop Brembo brake caliper here so it's also finished in a lovely gloss black rather than the traditional red which Brembo normally feature. looking at the alloy wheel we'll also look at the tyres you've got a fantastic brand here Pirelli which is this particular model or brand of a wheel is the P0 and it's on a size of 245 40 R1994 W now this tyre is going to be fantastic for traction on the car keeping it on the road and for giving it its best performance on the vehicle the Cupra Ateca also has a full body coloration so you can see on this particular model it is all grey to the ground So you will notice as well, with the Cupra, you have black detailing on certain parts on the side skirts, on the window surrounds, wing mirrors, and the roof bars. So my favourite part of the car, which I find most impressive, is the back of the car, because you have the lovely logo there, again on the back. Then another distinctive feature is also to have the Cupra in a gloss black on the rear bumper with the fantastic four drive motion and on the vehicle. My favourite part and most impressive this quad exhaust system here with a gloss black exhaust diffuser. One of the most useful features on the car is the electronic tailgate which is also has fitted the virtual pedal which I will now demonstrate. So fit underneath the back bumper and what you'll find. Most useful if you do have your hands full of shopping or your hands are full generally with looking after the kids. Another feature of the audio system you have is you have the Beats audio in the car, which underneath the floor on the boot, you've got the amplifier and sub just there, which I will go into more detail when we look inside the vehicle. So some of the features inside the car, you do have keyless entry in the car, which also has the keyless start just down here by the gear, but, um, the gear stick. Sorry. Now, new design to the car, you have this lovely logo again on the centre steering wheel with the carbon fibre across on there on the horn motion, with a lovely bronze stitching inside the steering wheel and of course on the seat as well. So another feature inside the car is this 8 inch coloured touchscreen here which as we already know is a full entertainment system so you have your FM, AM and DAB radio stations you have your uh, media systems and displays you have your full link Apple CarPlay navigation and you also have your media high functionalities as well coming down the bottom here you've got your controls with the electronic tailgate 
you've got your park assist buttons here with your visual aid with your top view camera you can tap to the certain functions on the camera so you can see your front view rear view and then both your side views there and then with tapping onto the top of the roof you then get back to your full view there so again focusing at the ventilation down here side you have your um, park assist button you have your electric um, your heated seat sorry dual zone climate as well as your USB auxiliary and also your wireless charging plate. So for Samsung devices and some new Apple devices, it is wirelessly chargeable whilst you're driving, whilst you're moving. Because of the Cupra mode and also the four drive, you have these different modes here. So you've got your normal, you've got your sport, you've got your Cupra, then your individual, which you can also see up here on the screen. So as you turn the little dial around, you've got your different functionalities and what you can do is you can go from into the eye there and you can see what it is effectively changing. Now if I start this bad boy up, in Cupra mode what you'll find is that the rev tolerance is a lot higher and it will stick you and keep you in gear for a lot, lot longer. With the full digital cockpit display, you can in fact change it over so you can have your Cupra dial there so you can see quite visibly what you, where your revs are and also what your speed is at. Something new to the brand is of course this digital cockpit. So you can have your navigation view in the center, you can have your audio, you can have your telephone contacts, all your car details, even a stopwatch shows lap times and also obviously all your driving data. So your all important range in terms of the tank, consumptions, trip times, oil temperatures and of course your speed which you need to keep an eye on. Going down to change the view, you can also have your large display there. And this is also one of the best things to have when you are using your navigation because you can have it in the large screen there or you can transfer over into having the other screen in the center, which you can do by tapping onto the navigation. Then you'll have your full displays on the center there and in your screen in the center by the steering wheel. So the sunroof comes as standard in the particular model, so you can have the sunroof open as well as this netting, so you can both have them in situ with each other. So with the seating, you have this lovely copper stitching, which I mentioned. You also have your carbon fibre print across the outside of the seat with your lovely embroidery there of your Cupra. You've got a lovely leather exterior to the side, sorry, on the bottom and on the back, with a lovely suede side to the bottom part of the seat. Don't fancy listening to the car as you drive, you do have a fantastic Beats audio system in the car which is fitted to the front, side tweeters and to the back as well. Which going around to the boot, as mentioned before, you have it all under the boot flooring with your amplifier and sub all there underneath the boot. Done a lot of talking so I'm going to let the camera do the rest. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for today. So, all that's left to do now is to test drive it. Stay tuned and to see more.